No freaking way, guys. As you can tell by the title, we have some crazy news to cover in today's video. So last night, we got some interesting info. <laughs> so first up here on the docket, let's talk about John Warden coming back to the Transformers team and joining G.I. Joe Classified as well. Um, he posted this on his LinkedIn announcing it. He says here, I'm happy to share that I'm starting a new position as Director of Product Design at Hasbro, managing Hasbro's historic Transformers fan-focused toy lines, generations, slash studio series, as well as the G.I. Joe classified toy lines. Now, if you don't know who John Warden is, he was basically the main guy in charge of the Transformers toy lines from, like, since, like, Age of Extinction up to uh, Legacy Year One. He started Legacy Year One. He didn't finish it. Uh, Mark and Evan and the new team uh, took over. But he he is responsible for most of Generations at that time being G1. <laughs> but I will point out, he was in charge of bringing in Beast Wars. He did handle that. He did handle the start of Legacy and what that would entail. He did start the new d design philosophy of extra articulation, smoother transformations, better looking figures, stuff like that. So I do want to point out that it does seem negative that this is the same guy that only wanted to do mainly G1 stuff and G1 adjacent. But I also want to point out, like I just did, that he did start handling stuff outside of G1, and he it seems like he did start to realize that there was more to Transformers than just putting G1 uh, or G1 IDW stuff into the Generations line. So I wouldn't flip out just yet. I mean, of course, there is a little bit of concern to be had because this might impact the character choices going forward. I also want to bring another point in here. If you don't know what product design director means, I looked it up myself because it's not like I'm some uh, corporate guru. Uh, I looked it up on Google and it says here, to lead the creative vision and the standard of output across the product design team through mentoring, coaching, and problem solving. So I don't think he's going to have much input on characters per se in the direction of the line. I think he's just in place to... Uh, to help oversee things and to help guide things because of how much experience he's had. I mean, he's been working at Hasbro for over 10 years now. You got to imagine the guy's got a lot of experience. And in terms of designing toys, I think he's pretty freaking great at his job considering he's the one who came up with the whole uh, design philosophy De yeah, design philosophy that we have now for Transformers that started back in Siege under his direction. So... I would see this more as a win rather than a loss. But again, I'm not going to I'm not going to, you know, deny that his character choices and some of the decisions he did make were not in the best interest for Transformers fans like me or you watching this video potentially who is interested in seeing more Unicron trilogy characters, interested in seeing more Prime, animated, rescue bots, all these different universes, uh, comic book stuff. I'm, I'm not taking that out of the question just yet, but I will say, guys, do not worry or flip out because I've seen a lot of people already on TFW and Twitter already losing their minds. At first, I was, I was going a little crazy myself when I first heard the news, but once I settled down a little bit and I read into things and I looked up what product design director means, I calmed down a little bit and I don't think it's going to be much of a problem because I think the guys in charge might outrank John in this position. I'm not sure. Uh, but I don't know. We'll see what happens going forward after 2026 because we'll really only see his effect when he joins the team in 2027 or late 2026 because things are already set in stone for next year. Things are already being put in place under the current design team for 2026. So uh, we really won't know too much until later on 2026 or early 2027, but we'll see. We'll see what happens.
So the website for Takara's Masterpiece MP60 and MPG9, uh, they announced something a little bit crazy here. Something that none of us were expecting, basically. So they're ending the Masterpiece line that's been going on since, what, 2004? And they're seemingly unifying it or merging it, whatever you want to call it, with MPG, which started like two, three years ago. It's it's Masterpiece Gatai, or however you pronounce that. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It means, in Japanese, I think it means to unify or combine. So this is for combiners under the Masterpiece branding. And I don't know what to make of this. It's kind of weird, like... There's so many characters that don't combine that still need to be done under the Masterpiece scaling. Uh, rumors of Rat Trap, Cliff Jumper, and Jazz have been circulating to release this year under the Masterpiece branding. So, I don't know, it just seems weird and it seems a bit, like, I don't think this is a good idea. <laughs> like, they should just keep things as masterpiece i i honestly think they should get rid of mpg if anything and just keep masterpiece because there's way more figures or characters that uh will be done under masterpiece that aren't combiners as opposed to characters that are so i honestly don't know what to make of this news it's kind of weird that they even thought about doing this in the first place if this really is true and not some uh misunderstanding between language barriers and translation or whatever i don't know it's it's a bit weird but we'll see what happens um i don't think this is gonna like impact the masterpiece line a whole lot other than it just being a name change all across the board i still think we're gonna be getting a masterpiece rat trap at some point a masterpiece cliff jumper jazz all the other characters that we're still missing in masterpiece it's just gonna be branded as masterpiece combiner for whatever reason <laughs> even though those characters uh, are not combiners so it's a bit weird if true but i don't think it's going to be too big of a deal impacting the character choices going forward but yeah guys that's pretty much it like i said uh, some weird news i mean masterpiece merging and and going with mpg instead john w warden returning which i never thought would happen honestly it's been a weird set of news over the past like 15 hours but hey I would look too much into this stuff other than just something new happening. Uh, like I said, with John, I, I'm not sure how he would outrank them, the, the guys in charge right now, like Mark and Evan. We, we'd have to wait and see and how much input he's actually going to have come, come 2026, 2027. And with the Masterpiece line, I, again, I would, <laughs> I honestly would not go too crazy yet. Yes, it's weird. Yes, it doesn't make any sense from a character standpoint, but it's just something that Takara does, man. They've, they've made weird names that don't make sense plenty of times before. Takara is not the greatest at naming toy lines. Let's be real. But yeah, uh, thank you all for watching this video. All my social medias are linked down below. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. My email is also down below if y'all want to hit me up about business inquiries or if you want to message me about whatever. Or if you want to subscribe to my new Patreon link down below. It's got tons of exclusive content that you won't see here on YouTube or any of my other social media accounts, such as exclusive stop motions, Transformers photography. You guys get sneak peeks at projects I'm working on, such as dioramas, my stop motion films. You guys get Discord access. You guys get one week advance before everybody else here on YouTube to my stop motion films. If you guys want to help support me and help support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. But yeah, let me know, let me know down in the comments below what do y'all think about this news here of John Return and the Masterpiece line ending and being rebranded totally as MPG. But yeah, thank y'all for watching this video. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye!